Okay, so once upon a time, Grundig made some really nice receivers. Uh, they really did some nice German stuff, and um, you could get um, oh, look at this breakdowns on um, how to pull them to bits, uh, full circuits. Which you know, I mean, this was just good information, and um, ah, that's the rear of my Grundig. <laughs> so I've got a Grundig 3400 Professional, Satellite 3400 Professional, uh, so the photo of that is probably best to give you that there. So this is what it looks like, brilliant, absolutely brilliant, um, and uh, uh, had it worked I'd be really really happy, <laughs> but um, it certainly doesn't. So let me show you what we've had to do, <laughs> a, this is part of it, uh, as you can see there's a bit of display there, and there's more of it here <laughs> it's like not a bit of it down here so they're they're a nice looking unit um they're a pig to work on they, I, I, you've got to pull the thing to a million pieces to um to get what is i've just found the fault um it's a 4700 mic cap and um let me just get my multi meter i'm on beep at the moment oh there you go i'm just knocking things over too here um Sorry, we'll just move that over. Uh, and we're going to do a second video on this uh, after um, replacing the cap. Hopefully that's the only problem with it. Uh, but okay, so we're on basically uh, beep. So beep means, um, I'm just going to do this with one, one hand here. Hang on. I don't know if I can get the shot in. Uh, put the finger there. And there we go. On that cap there. It's, yeah, definitely short circuit. Uh, 4700 is it? I think, um, yeah, 4700 mic, 25 volts working, um, and that cap sits right in that spot there. After you pull this entire bloody thing to bits, it is, I mean, even, it's easier to take the transformers out and, you know, and all the audio stuff. Um, I mean, look, these were high quality stuff, uh, no question. Um, but look, yeah, when it's, um, when it's got a new cap in it, I'm hoping that, you know, it'll be a, uh, a great receiver but going back to the picture um, that's you know that's sort of what we're going to end up with um, whilst I'm sort of showing you this load of parts here um, you know, it's, it's a bit of a mess I know but um, uh, yeah, I'm just thinking I'll move some stuff off my monitors and bits here at the moment oh, we're a bit of a mess in here um, well we're always a bit of a mess in here but um, yeah sorry so the satellite uh, 3400 professional um, hopefully we'll have it working soon and um, uh, there's a very good chance that uh, that'll be the uh, the case. Um, they come with a lot of different books um, in German. Um, they have mostly got English translations on the back, although I don't know that this one has. Um, that's English. Yep, yep. So, so they're, they're a full HF receiver, and um, uh, you know, quite good. But they they really did supply you a lot of bits and pieces. I mean, if you bought one of these out of these out of German, uh, but Germany, um, you know, you got all these different little frequency books etc etc and what was sort of uh, on at the time and etc etc but um, yeah they, they really I mean very professionally marketed uh, certainly um, used to sell here for a lot of money because by the time you bought one over from Germany that's for sure all right well I'm going to uh, continue on um, I've got to find a cap I'm not going to finish this off tonight I'm just get. I'm going to go watch some TV with Sam <laughs> be a good boy um, but it will be interesting to see. Uh, I would say that um, uh, we'll, we'll do some some checks. It's very hard to do voltage checks on this when you've virtually got to put all back together again to then you know test uh, whether or not you've. Uh, so you, so you really do do a lot of fault checking around here just to make sure there's nothing else that might have got burned up because of the uh, the shorted cap. Um, generally, you look on the circuit and circuit's pretty self-explanatory. Um, it, it does. Um, it does show you here, oh goodness, sorry, um, I need my other glasses actually, hang on, let's just get my other glasses, I've got the wrong ones on, you know you're getting old when you've got to have different glasses on, uh, so basically, um, faults um, oh, coming over here, and uh, as we can see, we've got um, bridge rex fire, etc, etc, sorry, vaults in here, <laughs> be good if I had a little pointer or something, wouldn't it, hang on. Yep, okay, so yeah, volts coming over here, bridge rectifier, etc, etc, uh, and then actually from there, um, 
it's got a stream off it's funny that uh, 4700 mic um, cap that I've just um, uh, found short circuit um, just trying to see it on the circuit here where the heck is it there's a 20, 220 there's a smaller one Not a bit of a look hang on right okay sorry just had to um, just locate that to be honest uh, C656 isn't it funny I, I kind of I saw it earlier then I lost it um, but as you can see um, a C656 um, uh, that um, 4700 uh, mic uh, 25 volt working capacitor filters across here but see how it switches this is all your voltage switching that's done from DC AC etc um, so pretty much once that shorts no matter what you do um, you know uh, on the uh, on the certainly hang on look on that side there it goes off yeah no you're gonna have a problem no matter what you do um, so yeah that's pulling it to ground there and that's why it's blowing the fuse back over and this is why we always say don't put in bigger fuses because there's a reason uh, that the fuse was after so there's on the AC side they had a DC fuse somewhere here is blowing a DC fuse I just can't see it for the moment um, but um, yeah so obviously if you're blowing a fuse on one of these things um, yeah just just start looking as to what's pulling the fuse down and um, in this case yeah that um, one one cap just there oh there it is just there uh, is um, absolutely doing all the damage and I would say just looking at the line here um, so that would shut that down to TC, uh, BD135 and see all these regulators through here yeah no that, that, that actually if we're lucky I'll just just probably want to just check that you know um, we're all still up and running there uh, but it should be it should be just that that bang knocks the fuse out and that's it uh, once it went short um, you can get unlucky sometimes but uh, anyway that's um, just a bit of a brief look at this um, <laughs> this shimozzle. It, it's unbelievable. Put my other glasses on. Uh, I mean, uh, just the fact that you've got to take front and back covers off and go to a raw chassis to get this board out. Um, and believe me, if you try to do it without doing it that way, you'll never get it out. You've really got to just break it down into a whole complete raw chassis like this. And then it gets a lot easier. Once you give in and say you've got to pull all the covers off, um, the Grundig, um, and I would say a lot of Grundigs will be the same, that you've got to pull your front and back covers off, um, throw that all to a side. Uh, to be honest, um, we probably didn't need to pull out the digital module, but the reason I did at the time, we had this board here that was sitting in this spot here, and we had here, and I, I just I pulled this out quickly because I thought, I wonder if we've got a screw somewhere in here that we can get to, to pull this board out. But as it turned out, all the screw mountings are on this front side here. So you've got to pull the whole thing to bits. All right, so hopefully we can, um, at some stage, show you one of these things um, working. Now, if you never, if you see this video and never see a video uh, going of a going one, you'll know how bloody terrible I am as a tech. Um, so um, let's hope I can get it going, so don't get too embarrassed. Hopefully, um, but because I'd like to really get this going, it's a lovely looking unit. So uh, we'll um, we'll keep you updated. Seventy three from VK three, Charlie Mike, JDW two two nine. Please subscribe, uh, smash that like button, all that stuff. Jeez, I sound like the Americans. All the best. Cheers.